Okay. The Zard video. Uh, before I get into it, uh, I got these new pants. These are the NBT riding pants. These aren't the super expensive ones, um, but yeah, I finally got pants. So, okay. Well, here it is, the riding video. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm in my full gear. It is about 90, 95 degrees out today, and uh, so it's a warm one, but I got to do this because my wife's birthday is soon, and I have no idea when I'll have time to do this, except for today. So, um, before I go any further, sorry if you can hear cars, this intersection is crazy busy right now. Um, before I go any farther, um, I'm going to um, just reiterate that this is not a Zard full system. Like, this is not, you can't buy a full system from Zard yet. They have one in development for the 24s, but as of right now, they only make slip-ons. So, um, the headers are from a 2022 Street Triple RS. Okay, they're not aftermarket headers they're not anything other than just stock headers bees everywhere i don't like bees they're just stock headers okay so before i get 30 more comments asking which i don't mind answering but it gets a little redundant uh, having to say it and i feel like i've said it in multiple videos those are just stock headers from a stock bike okay which means that there's no tune needed um so it's literally just stock headers with the zard and all is said and done. So um, with that, let me go ahead and hop on the bike. Um, the first part of this video will be a riding video where I'm talking and commentating. And then the um, last part, I'll throw the uh, mic in my backpack and uh, you can get some more pure riding clips. So uh, with that, let's get to riding. Okay, we are all situated on the bike. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, We'll get after it. We'll do a little cold start real quick. I mean, it's not that cold. I rode up here, but it's not like I was riding for 30 minutes. All right, let's turn around in this gravelly parking lot. I'm trying to get out before all the cars come. Lots of gravel. All right, here we go. It's just, I can't, it's going to be hard for me to explain, like, the difference, because both the SC Project and the Zard are, like, in my opinion, the best exhaust for this bike. I know that there are others, like, the Scorpion doesn't look too bad, um, and some other ones. I'm forgetting that. What's going on here? All right, this will be fun. Oh, can I see it? I can, and I can go. Um... Uh, so, yeah, like, the Scorpion one's not bad. I haven't heard it. I know that there's, like, the Delkovic or whatever, the more cheaper ones. Not that they're, by any means, worse, but, in my opinion, I just, I think the Zard is it for me in terms of, like, the looks and the, uh, the sound. Because, like, I have it on my Trident, and I loved it. Now, to be fair, I haven't had any other exhaust on the Trident, so I can't talk on like how the tech one is or um oh, there's a couple other ones scorpion makes them for that or sc project for the matter um i just i really like zard i like the tone it gives i think it's very pronounced um and honestly the end can of this looks like the same size as the one on the trident i didn't compare but um so i don't know if it's um placebo but i feel like this exhaust is smoother like it made the bike ride smoother and i think that that may be because this pipe is longer like the mid mid section part it's longer um than the s on the sc project so maybe that distance is helping somewhat with some back pressure no idea but it just it feels really good um 
not that the SC project made the bike feel bad. I feel like everybody is like scared. Like if they don't have exhaust on their bike and they want to put one on, but they're scared because they read a couple things on the internet saying, oh, your bike's going to blow up, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to blow up, okay? It's, you can't, I'm going to be a little mean sounding here. You cannot ride this bike to the full potential. So if you lose one, two, three horsepower, but you gain the sound, to me, it's worth it. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that I'm like the fastest rider and I am the best because in no way am, am I even close to that. But if I lost five, 10 horsepower, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. I couldn't tell you the difference. But the sound is just, listen to that. And I'm sure you'll get better audio when I um, record the like backpack video, but it's just like, I. So good. So, so good. Um, so I did, like I mentioned in the other video, the install video of this, uh, I got this from Bellissimoto and uh, they did have to happen the only, like, this was the only one they had was the black titanium, which worked out for me, but um, I'm sorry if you guys want to order one. I have no idea when they'll get more, um, but I would just, you know, reach out to them and ask and see if they have a timeline. I don't have that answer for you. I'm not going to speak for that company, but um, yeah, they're great to work with. They shipped it out super quick and here I am enjoying the hell out of it. Just, mm, I love it. I love it. I would love if this Honda were to move, but you know what? It's gonna chill today. It feels weird uh, riding with this with with the camera on my helmet again. It feels weird riding in general. I haven't ridden much in the past two to three weeks, which is honestly kind of heartbreaking. But um, yeah, no. I mean, and I have a little bit of a problem where like I, mean, I hate to be this kind of guy. Uh, my face is still losing more weight, so my helmet isn't like or my face, my head isn't filling out my helmet as much. So like the helmet when I have the camera on the front. It feels really top heavy, um, like it, it tilts down. So I, I think Shoei makes thicker cheek pads. So I'm gonna have to grab those because I feel like a small will be too small for me, but the medium felt perfect. A little snug when I first got it, but the problem is, is I keep, my face keeps slimming out. So my cheeks are going in. So I, who knows? I'm technically at five foot six. I should have like a smaller head, but I don't know. Most people say I got a blockhead. You could be the judge of that. Okay, let's get back to the exhaust. So, um, I mean, I don't really have a ton to talk about that I didn't talk about in the other video. Um, other than I just think that the sound is more refined. I would say that maybe it's a little quieter than the SC project. It's hard because exhaust has a bunch of packaging in it. And that when that packaging is new, it lets out a little bit more sound because it hasn't settled. At least this is what I've come to find on like every exhaust I've installed, whether it be a car or a bike, um, that they usually tone down. So when I first got the exhaust on and I started the video and I started it in the video last time, right? It's hard to gain or I guess gauge how loud this thing truly is. Um, but when I rode with uh, some buddies the other day, um, it screams. Um, but I'm assuming that as the uh, muffler packaging breaks down and, and settles in that uh, we should technically get it a little bit quieter, which I wouldn't be opposed to. Not that this thing is loud by any means necessary. It's just, I don't know. Actually, if it stayed like this, I wouldn't even be upset. I'd be stoked. It's just, it sounds so, it sounds incredible. And, uh, Further uh, disclosure here, I'm not paid by Bellissimoto or Zard in any way. So when I'm when I'm reviewing this, like I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Um, and now you obviously know I'm a little bit more biased um, just because I have this exhaust on my Trident. Um, but uh, yeah, I, it's just it's a good it's a good combination. I'm, I'm a really big fan of it. Uh, I think so now I'm going to go ahead and put you back in my put the mic in my backpack um, 
so that you guys can get some uh, some actual sound clips. Dude, what is up with all the vendors out? I just need to put the thing in the bag. Uh, there's so much gravel over here. I'm going to go for it. Wish me luck, everybody. Call me Travis Pastrana. Using some back brake here. Okay, we're good. All right, uh, I'm going to cut to the clip. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go yet, but I'm going to cut to the clip and uh, you can get some backpack uh, exhaust videos.
Okay, I had to stop to put the mic back in my helmet. Um, that is going to conclude the riding video. It is hot. Um, and now I'm in the part where there's just a bunch of traffic. I could go ride back in the hills, but you guys only care about you know, 20, 30, 50 seconds um, of this riding video. So um, that is the 2024 uh, RS with the Zard exhaust, titanium, black, stock 2022 headers with a cat, no tune necessary. Um, bike runs flawlessly, phenomenally, tons of fun, great sounds. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I know I said to some people that I wanted to have like a uh, on the side of the road shot and the panning. Um, I'd rather do that when I have Jared. Um, I don't have him today, so you just get me a little bit of commentary and a little bit of me talking. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. God damn, it's so freaking hot. Why do I do this? I do it for fun. It's just hot. Why am I complaining so much? It's only like 95.